And welcome to your gold market update for Tuesday, the 19th of July. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gold Markets here. To take you through a walk around the markets right now, let's have a look at what's come across the news first. Of course, the US markets dropped off in the last two hours of trading to close in negative territory in another session that really was dominated by caution relating to earnings potential over the next couple of weeks. We are obviously in the midst of US earnings season, which kicked off last week. On top of that, China COVID situation is still concerning with increasing lockdowns seeming to be the order of the day. That doesn't seem to be improving at all and that is going to start to impact on some of the Chinese data, we suspect, even more than it has done so already. US futures are mildly positive in Asia and the Asian indices are mixed in this morning's trading. The SX is underperforming slightly down 0.1%. But we are seeing some buying coming into the energy and material sectors. European futures are suggesting a lower open this afternoon. In the FX market, we are seeing the US dollar index dropping yesterday, but it regained some of its earlier day losses, slightly higher towards the back end of the US session and is up in Asia a little today. Gold is trading near the 1700 level as it was yesterday. This does represent 14 month lows. We do seem to be holding for right now. If we do break through that, then the next support is around that 200 EMA at 16.75. Oil has been testing $100 over the last few trading sessions, but it has bounced off that $100 support. The Brent crude CFD contract is up around 107 this morning. The VIX has paused at the 25 key level support, which is a one month low, which really suggests that yesterday's slight losses weren't anything particularly concerning on top of what's happening in the markets already. We did see copper bouncing off 320 support, but remains generally bearish in that long-term downtrend. Bitcoin continues its slight recovery. We are testing 21,500 resistance at this stage. Looks as though in Asia, we do have a little bit of buying pressure coming in. Be interesting to see if that holds and we see some continued momentum in that but too early to tell really at this stage. Of course, this week is dominated by the US earnings season. We get some more earnings ramping up in the US. We've got Halliburton, Johnson Johnson, Netflix and Lockheed Martin included in the offerings today. Obviously, it accelerates from here. We get more and more companies reporting over the next couple of weeks. We'll see the first big tech. It is worth mentioning Netflix in a little more detail. That is released after the bell, so we'll see it on Wednesday, Australian time. We'll see it in after hours trading, but we won't see the impact of that until Wednesday evening's US market open. On the data front, we've got the RBA minutes released. That may impact on the Aussie dollar, of course. And we've got UK jobs, US housing also out later. Just a couple of charts perhaps to keep an eye on today. Let's start with the Aussie Yen. You can see this established support at 91.80. Uh, we've had a really significant bounce off that over the last week, as you can see there. And this has taken us up to test a key level at around about 94.17. So a big 300 pip move higher. If we do break through this any more than we are now, then it could be up another 100 pips or so to retest those highs hit in mid-June could be the RBA minutes that push this higher. So on the short term time frame, we do seem to be giving this a good push, as you can see there, perhaps in the first instance, limited to around about a 35 pip up move. But if we do break this level here at 94.53, then there is a big gap upwards that we could potentially fill. So one worth keeping an eye on over the next couple of hours, particularly. In the ASX, we're like in PLS, there seems to be some buying coming back into the lithium stocks over the last week or so. You can see this sort of long term double bottom type of formation on PLS and we are testing a key level at 245. You can also see the 200 EMA sitting there as well. So we'll just bring this closer. So we're looking potentially for a close over this level and if we do get one, say an entry perhaps at 254 then there's potentially a significant 15 percent upside potential in this over the coming days and weeks trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now